That's Matthew van der Poel, works his way back towards the peloton. He's been joined by Tim van Dijk in this group, also Mads Pedersen. Welcome to hell. The gates are open and the race starts. Looks of things, Pedersen. Mads Pedersen is in this chasing group, so he's pulled his, uh, himself out of the main part of the peloton, which includes Mathieu van der Poel. But as we see, they take so much whoa, speed whoa, whoa, into that whoa, whoa, left whoa. hander. That was close. Who is going to get through here? Is there going to be an almighty crash? Pidcock comes up on the right hand side over the tram lines, right hand turn. Pidcock gets through in fourth place. Vanderpool is in about seventh. And look at the way that everybody is desperately trying to get there. But you've come to a standstill. Total standstill around that corner. Vanderpool comes out in fourth. Muscles shaking all over the place. Van der Poel now goes to the front and puts on the hurt on everybody else. The world champion starts to make the move. Slightly uphill section now. He's let Pedersen do the work. Pidcock is unable to go with it. And four riders now are starting to go away. Arenberg is finished. Van der Poel takes the left-hander. Does he accelerate or does he wait? The answer is he puts the pressure on even more and tries to get rid of Pedersen, who is hauling his way back. Enough. And so you can see he's got his right arm in the air. He's signalling he's got no bottles on his bike at all. And, and he's got a rear wheel puncture. Not good for Jasper Philipsen. Pedersen has a problem. He's got a rear wheel puncture. Or whether he just lost the chain, but Bissiger's having to get himself back here, talking into the radio. Something has happened to Bissiger. And he's been on the best day of his life in Paris-Roubaix. Oh, crash. crash. Crash of one of the Van Dijk brothers on the corner. But whether that be through double rat bar tape, whether that be through uh, a special bar tape Here made for this. Here comes the world champion. Uh, here comes the attack. Mathieu van der Poel. He launched from about five riders back. And here he goes. The rainbow band. Uh, it is Mathieu van der Poel at 61 kilometers an hour. This is a devastating attack. Everybody was looking relaxed, looking comfortable. Vermeers was on the front and you just saw him pull away. Pedersen now desperately trying to get back. So is Stefan Kung. Jordi Mayus trying to get back onto the wheel is John Degenkolb. There's only one rider who's trying to match him and that's Pedersen. Van der Poel has absolutely flown on an innocuous sector in Orshi. Trying to hold on there, Tom Pidcock. That back wheel is kicking all over the place. Let's take a look. Pidcock goes into that right-hander. Whoops. An early season win, one that was... Oh, oh! Just as we're talking about him, Pithy crashes on the left-hand turn. Matthew van der Poel is the leading actor in the theatre of the Carrefour de Lab. 2.56 his advantage as the crowd lean in and see the rainbow bands of a masterful performance from a world champion at the very top of his game. So as we see an attack, and the attack comes from Jasper Philipsen, who's decided now he's going to ride, and he now tries to get rid of everybody else. Philipsen wants to go solo and give Alpsen de Koenig a 1-2, but Mathieu van der Poel any moment now will hear the eruption of an expectant crowd who are about to greet a world champion for the first time since 2018 as he comes in now wow the reception is absolutely electric Mathieu van der Poel comes round the final bend in the rainbow jersey as the winner of the 121st Paris-Roubaix with the crowd absolutely on their feet it is rainbows in Roubaix. Monumental Mathieu van der Poel wins his second Paris Roubaix. Can he beat Pollitt? They go down the back straight into the headwind. Here goes Niels Pollitt. Big acceleration from the German rider. Pedersen is getting on the wheel. Philipsen is about to strike on the outside. Niels Pollitt flat out now. Look at Jasper Philipsen looking for a way through. It's going to be. 1-2 for Alperson de Koenig, Pedersen in third place, Pollitt in fourth, 